or maybe it didn't. Yeah. We really don't know what the seasons are going to bring. COVID is ending, except that it isn't. Transmission rates and numbers of cases keep going up and down. We here are in an ongoing process of re rediscovering what it means to do church, how to find connections and be together, and we're still in the process of finding a new minister. There's lots of change and uncertainty, and also hope. This past week in the Washington Post, the writer and historian Rebecca Solnit wrote about climate change in a way that we might not expect as an opportunity. An opportunity to create abundance. And by abundance, she does not mean acquiring stuff. She means a sense of security, social connectedness, mental and physical health, other measures of well-being. She means creative pursuits, adventure and learning, building stronger societies, being better citizens, and caring for the people we love. Abundance, in this sense, means an abundance of personal growth and connection. It means community. This morning, here in our own small way, we're going to try and grab a piece of that abundance. One of our missions is to build community. And one of the ongoing themes that has occupied the transition team through this year is our connections to one another and how those have been affected by the pandemic. We seek to build community and when necessary, to rebuild community. So today we're going to move around to a series of shared activities that will give us a chance to interact and maybe get to know one another a little better. In your order of service, now comes the part where you need to pay attention. In, in your order of service, you will find an insert that assigns you to a group A, B, C, or D, and a guide to the four activity stations. If you don't find this insert, it means you dropped it already by accident, and there are more orders of services, and the ushers can give you one of the inserts. Okay, four stations. There will be an activity guide, one of the transition team members at each station. Each group will start at a different station, and will go to all four stations for 10 minutes each. We will ring a chime to signal the time to move to a different station. After we've done with all four stations, we will return here in the sanctuary for our closing and postlude, and if you're comfortable doing so at that time, we invite you to remain standing for the postlude, because we hope it's going to be at least half as rousing as one of our tour. <laughs> in addition to the four stations, uh, there's hospitality and fellowship hall, and it will be available throughout the service. So, yes, if you need a little in the middle, it's available. Station one is for shared joys and sorrows. We will not be reading these aloud during the service, but if you send an email or fill out a card, we can make sure it gets into the weekly e news. And while you're going around, Please introduce yourself to your group, especially those you know less well. Okay, and right, there we go, the four stations. Station one is here at the front of the sanctuary, that's joys and sorrows. Station two, in the rear of the sanctuary. Station three is on the west or near side of Fellowship Hall, and station four on the far side of Fellowship Hall by the windows. I expect you'll be able to find your way around. When you get to station one, you put your left foot in. At station two, you put your left foot out. At station three, you put your left foot in. And at station four, you shake it all about. Okay, now's the time. This is gonna to be tough when we ask you to self-direct, ascertain which group you're a member of or join one of the groups. Go to your first station, have fun, meet those in your group, and enjoy being a little creative. We're doing Joys and Sorrows, and people are writing on sticky notes, Joys uh, on yellow, and, and Sorrows or Concerns on blue. Putting them up on some po uh, posters here, and uh, then we're going to share for those people who would like to do that. 
If not, we'll just sit and wait to go to the next station. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, so I'm writing, writing my joy, which I'm very excited about spring, even though today feels like spring has left us. But um, I got my seeds started this week. I got my fence on my vegetable plot up. So I'm excited for the start of spring. I will be back, but I'm going to head up there. All right, I'm back. I learned that um, Bob was very happy that he finally found his billfold after two weeks of missing it, so that was a nice joy. I hope some of you at home are thinking about things that you are either happy about or sad about this week. Um, and you can actually also send those in to the regular email, the joys and sorrows at uuc.org. So you can still share your joys and sorrows online, even if you're not here in person, and we'll add them to the board. Opportunity to create an artwork that means how you love the church and what it, what it means to you. This is your opportunity. For this group it, has its own masterpiece. It has your own masterpiece, and by the way, get to introduce yourself to someone that you don't know while you're doing it. We've got plenty of paper, colored paper, stones, and we've got. I think we're, they said we're moving on to the next station, so we're going to head into Fellowship Hall. You're going to take a colored strip, write your name, please. That's something you like about spring. You try to keep it as simple as possible. We want to think happy thoughts. Yeah. Then we also want to make connections within our church. So please take a photo link and go to anyone in this group and tell them what you wrote. Compare notes and maybe you can find out more about them that you didn't know. Maybe you're meeting them for the first time. Ann, can you tell folks at home what the pom-poms are all about? We heard about the loops. Yes, the pom-poms are for a simple art project. We have an outline of a chalice, and we have all different colors, and everyone can choose one or two that they especially like and add it to the chalice design. And then, and then when it's done, we'll take a picture, and it's something that won't go to waste because we'll reuse those pom-poms. That's wonderful. Thank you. I'll go take a look. Hey, thank you. Creating a chalice. Johnny, did you get a pom pom going in there yet? I have not. I'm waiting anxiously. Oh, I, it, it looks fun. Here's the job. We're building the Wensical Church for the Future. Three groups in front of you have already started building the Church for the Future. It may not look like a church as you know it. And you're welcome to add on, change, or just start your own part. And you've got ten minutes. And at the end, I hope you can put things together in a way that... Uh, okay, so I feel like we need to arrange... What was this one supposed to be? The church, the outside church, the outside church. Yeah. This is the pulpit, right? So maybe this is the outside church. Right. 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 If you still have an order of service, you can join along with me in our chalice extinguishing words. Or you can just listen. 
May whatever gatherings or activities we engage in this Sunday afternoon help restore us, our connections to one another, our sense of hope, beauty, and fun in this world, our deep knowing that we have to take care of ourselves and each other with love and joy if we are to soulfully survive the world's mayhem. Okay, let's rock. Thank you. 